So we got the cam bearings in. Yep. All our tolerances checked out. There's one more thing we got to do to prep this block though before it can start receiving parts. What's that? Yeah, what we want to do is start installing the uh, oil galley and coolant block off plugs. Okay. Um, so we've got four in total and a uh, little dumbbell here. So some of these are going to block coolant passages, others for oil galleys. Okay. Now for the uh, large one here. Pretty self-explanatory. Pretty self-explanatory. can only go one spot. These three, they're all identical. Okay. And they can go in any, any order. It does not matter. So what we're looking at here is one to block off the oil galley there. We got one more for the oil galley in the front of the block there. And that is an area that if you um, choose to prime the engine ahead of time, uh -huh. this method, you would pull this one out to be able to access this area here. Gotcha, because you, you can't just spin the motor, you can't spin the oil pump to prime these engines. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if it's in the car, yeah. Right. If it's on a dyno, you could, but uh, in a okay. car situation, yeah. So the last plug goes in for the coolant, and that is on this side. Okay, so one last thing we want to do for the oil galley plugs is to install this dumbbell here. And what it does is it goes in the rear of the block, and it connects to that front plug that we just installed. And what I like to do is it's got an O-ring on it, and I like to just lubricate it a little bit just so it doesn't score up that O-ring seal when going on install. So you'll come into the back here, slide that in, and it'll just work its way in, and then give it a little push. And once that's flush, you know you're in. And there's a cover on the backside that holds that in. Yes, yeah, the rear cover will hold that in place so it won't pop out. 